Western classical music, often described as the soundtrack to the soul, has long been celebrated for its emotional depth and complexity. Recent research published in the esteemed journal Cell Reports reveals that this genre of music may hold the key to unlocking new therapeutic avenues for individuals struggling with depression, particularly those who have not found relief through conventional treatments. Researchers in China embarked on an auditory adventure, employing advanced brainwave measurements and neural imaging techniques to explore the intricate relationship between music and brain dynamics. Their goal? To uncover how compositions from the likes of Bach, Beethoven, and Mozart can elicit positive changes in the brain's architecture. The study focused on a cohort of 13 patients, each equipped with electrodes implanted in their brains for deep brain stimulation. These implants connect two critical regions in the forebrain, the bed nucleus of the stria terminalis, or BNST, and the nucleus accumbens, known for its role in the brain's reward circuitry. Through this sophisticated setup, researchers discovered that music orchestrates its antidepressant effects by synchronizing neural oscillations between the auditory cortex, responsible for processing sensory information, and the reward circuit, which governs our emotional responses. Participants were categorized into two distinct groups based on their appreciation for music, low and high. Those in the high appreciation group exhibited more pronounced neural synchronization, leading to more significant antidepressant effects. Conversely, the low appreciation group displayed less favorable outcomes. This stratification allowed researchers to delve deeper into the mechanisms by which music can alleviate depression, paving the way for tailored music therapy plans aimed at enhancing treatment efficacy. For instance, introducing theta frequency noise into the musical experience notably increased enjoyment among patients who initially reported lower appreciation for music. The selection of Western classical music was intentional. Most participants were unfamiliar with the pieces, minimizing potential biases from prior exposure. This approach underscores the importance of personalization in therapeutic settings. Looking ahead, the research team plans to explore the interplay between music and the brain's deep structures in relation to depressive disorders. They also intend to incorporate additional sensory stimuli, such as visual imagery, to investigate the potential synergistic effects of multisensory stimulation on alleviating depression. In summary, this groundbreaking study highlights the profound impact of Western classical music on the brain, offering a glimmer of hope for those enduring the shadows of treatment-resistant depression. Who knew that a little Mozart could potentially brighten the darkest of moods? Th thank you for joining us today. If you found this information enlightening, please like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the intersection of music, science, and mental health. Until next time, keep listening and keep healing.